On November 8th, voters will decide the fate of two referendum questions impacting the Augusta Area School District. The first question looks to generate $10.5 million. Its focus repairs, renovations, and maintenance across the district. Many of the classrooms in the elementary were built, were, were original to the building, were built in the um, early to mid-60s. Um, the middle school, high school building um, was initially constructed in the late 70s, and um, the, the classroom spaces that we're looking to address um, are the original sizes. Those dollars would also help improve the spaces for tech ed and agri-science courses. One way it would do that is by providing adequate room for the district's grant-funded advanced manufacturing equipment. We need a, a long-term solution for the space for that equipment and um, we feel like um, one of the aspects of question one addresses that. Uh, currently those uh, those students are working in a classroom that's about 750 square feet. The other referendum voters will see on the ballot would impact pre-K through fifth grade students. The second question then is related specifically to the addition of a new gymnasium at our elementary school and that is in the amount of uh, 4.5 million dollars. Right now, the elementary school's gym shares a space with its cafeteria. The referendum measure would give the physical education program its own facility. Depending on what voters decide to do at the poll, their taxes may not change. Uh, taxpayers would not uh, see a difference um, in the mill rate um, if question one passes. If question two passes, in addition to question one, we're looking at a mill rate increase of about $40 per $100,000 of property value. Nelson says in that scenario, the mill rate would top off at $10.08 per $1,000 of property value for this year and next year before decreasing from there. The length of both referendum questions is 20 years. In Augusta, Maria Blau, First News at 9. If you'd like to learn more about these referendums, the Augusta Area School District is holding an informational open house, which is happening tomorrow at 6 p.m. at Augusta High School.